There are two parts to this week's Manor and Maker video. First we take you through the Fête de Saint-Germain, and then we take you through everything that it took to set up our first exposition. Where are we off to now, love? So, we hear that the Fête has begun, or at least the Patank tournament down the way, so we are going to go check that out. Yep. So, yeah, I think the Chateau is in good shape. We've now opened up if people want to walk the grounds, and here we go. Yeah. The fete begins. <laughs> and Mark and Sue have come to join us. Mark and Sue were, we were a meat cute in an MIU, so I think it's the way of putting we, it. We were. <laughs> over a sewing machine or something. I don't yes. know exactly what it was. But. It's usually where I am in the MIU system. So, yeah. <laughs> we're having a great time in such a beautiful place. Yeah. And, well, and, uh, thank you. A lovely day. Absolutely glorious day. Well, it's very kind of you. You offered to come down just sort of help us get ready for the expo tomorrow. So you come down and we'll, we'll fet today and expo tomorrow. And thank you guys very much. You're very yeah. welcome. <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> well, it's exciting. The bar is open already. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they got the important part open. Yep. <laughs> Everything's running smoothly as it should. Yeah. We're going to have to test it out. I realize. Yeah. Oh, I think so. I think it's a great okay. idea, Mark. Yeah. The, man, the man behind the bar is also our mayor. Oh, okay. The station. Right. That's our mayor. Yeah. Yeah. And the patank is on. It's very serious business. This is cool. They've got little courts everywhere. They've got courts down there. They've got a couple of them up here. There's a game hot in progress. And this is court 41. The line has formed for the barbecue. Everyone is here and ready for it. So we have purchased our food, tickets, yep. and a bottle of wine. It smells delicious, so, yep. you know, And what have we hopes. promised? Steak, that was what I got. Steak. Yes, it was on Tocotte Bleu. A... I, I don't even remember what was on the menu. There was sweets, there was, was melon. Melon. Yeah, I saw melon on someone's tray. So. Was there a dessert? Oh, jambon. Oh, yeah. Oh, delightful. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Looking forward to it. There seems to be a... a tremendous turnout. I think literally everyone in the village has come out. Um, plus maybe a couple of villages over. I think we've shipped a few more in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and if these people all show up for the for the uh, exhibition tomorrow and we have to serve aperos to a couple of hundred people, everyone gets like a nibble of a cracker and that is it. <laughs> Group. I don't know if we can hear a thing, but what does everyone think of our 17-year-old uh, meal? It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. It's really amazing, actually, for 17 euros. Yeah, it's pretty good. We'll be full and drunk. And, and, and five, year, five euros. What's right? That? That's a good That's deal, a good too. Yeah. <laughs> Mark brought some of his uh, studio lights for us. And it was lit up the tower with just one panel. Can you even believe this? Look how gorgeous it looks. We heard the accordion player and rushed down to catch a snippet of it, and we were just not in time. That was our treat, yeah. But it's all on the dance floor now. Now I'm figuring out why they called this part the burning of the church, because... Wow. absolute hit of a night. I mean, you guys can't see a thing, but you can hear it. The Milky Way is like, stunning tonight. Uh, it must be a new moon because we can see every star. And the town is absolutely hopping. What a great time.
Seal Day, there's just a general migration happening. We're heading down to the viaduct. We are. Because it's fireworks time. More fireworks. And this time they're going off of the viaduct yes. on the train bridge, okay. which apparently is quite a spectacle. So looking forward to this. Should be good. Yeah. in Exeter to hand out posters for the FET and for the Exposition, and I can't even tell you how many people are out here this morning. It is just absolutely hopping. This is actually kind of a quiet corner I've found so that you guys can actually hear me because of course I didn't break my mic. So it is just full up with people this morning. Here's the poster that Steve made. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Incorporates the new Chateau logo. And hopefully, people will come out for the exposition. Hi, guys, we are coming to you from uh, Pompadour. Uh, in fact, we are in front of the Chateau de Pompadour. If that name sounds somewhat familiar to you, it's because one of Louis XIV, 15th, 15th, 15th. oh, sorry, Louis XV's um, mistresses is Madame Pompadour, and this is where she comes from, I guess. Yep. She's, or at least where she's named for. She's quite famous for being both an intellect and a beauty, and uh, having sort of been his companion for many years. And this chateau is actually all about the horses now, but of course they have a couple of artifacts from her time, and uh, there's some very famous paintings of her with rather spectacular dresses, which of course I am familiar with. <laughs> but um, we are actually here for another reason. Um, as you know, we're doing the uh, an exposition at the chateau on Sunday, and um, Claude, who is helping us arrange everything, managed to arrange us to be on the radio, <laughs> local radio, which, which was, which was fun, particularly for Sarah. I mean, I, I could just feign complete ignorance because of my French, but um, Sarah did extremely well. But it was good. It was able. We were able to at least promote our the not only promote the the fete and and the exposition, but also a little bit about what we are we're planning to do with the chateau. So I think it was really useful to be able to, um, you know, get onto local media. Yeah, it was very kind of them to yeah. give my, shall we say, beginner French uh, some airtime. So I think you did amazingly. I mean, I, honestly, might be, I might be verging on mediocre at this point, but <laughs> I understood what was being said uh, to go. an extent, yeah. but that was about as far as I go. Um, yeah, so that was exciting and uh, it's kind of nice. We feel like we're starting to get um, connected to a good network of people in the local area, both obviously in our village, but starting to, to grow into that larger community. So um, hopefully we can keep expanding and, you know, meet the right people. That's the trick, right? Yeah. It's all about networking. So I wanted to take a minute to introduce Adeline and Claude, qui a fait beaucoup de travail. <laughs> they have, fed, they have uh, done most of the work, frankly, to get this exposition going. They know all the local artists and they help organize everything, and I can't thank you both enough. Um, we had fun handing out flyers this morning in the in the market. the market. That was good. Yes. Yeah. And so now all the artists are arriving and we're just trying to figure out where to put everything. So it's a little bit of, you know, do we try to group things or do we try to group figures together or do we just go by the spaces available? And so we're just figuring everything out. What are we working on right now? So we've got these pieces. Never in the door. She's from South America. Oh. Uh, Mexico. 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 Yeah. But French, she's French, Mexican. Well, it's a mix. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, father well, is uh, Brittany yeah. and uh, mother is Mexican. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So we've come up with a solution to hang this lovely piece, taking advantage of the separation between the two rooms. Steve's just working tiny magic. <laughs> Trying to find the right ones. <laughs> So I have to say this Christmas uh, tablecloth is getting a lot more use than I expected, but it works perfectly as a contrast against these two big pieces, which we're just putting the hardware on to show off this beautiful paperwork. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's this little relief down here. I think that's giving it a lot more shine and light, which is lovely. And then this piece here. It's all done in paper. I'm loving the fact that in French, the word for easel is chevalier, which is basically like a knight. So I just picture, you know, guys in armor. Anyone who thinks art isn't a sport hasn't had the chance to move uh, sculptures around in a garden in an afternoon. That is some CrossFit activity, let me tell you. What do you think? I what think I we, think? Did, uh, I we think did a beautiful job. I think so yeah. too. And uh, you, you are a nice host for this <laughs> exhibition. And, uh, Thank you. And I think also the artists are so pleased. Good, and, that is the most important. And start already. Yeah to think about the possibilities of what the, you know, the place. Yeah. So the Excellent. brain is already working. Yeah. That's what we want to hear. So next so. year, all weekend, all month? No, all weekend. <laughs> I think you will have some in inquiries yeah. after the weekend about. <laughs>
All right, Sue and I are plattering up a storm here. I've got uh, fruit going with a little bit of just plain yogurt with some honey on it to make it look fancy. Sue's got the veg going already. We've got a couple of different dips. And now there's some meat action. And then I think there is the fromage left and a few little uh, mm -hmm. crackers and whatnot. And then at least we'll have round one for the aperitif. So we have actually no idea how many people are going to come. And we've had a really yes. good turnout this morning, yeah. so. Yeah, it's gonna vary as well. Could be all gone in five minutes, who knows? Just gonna add a little bit of garnish. We've got these nice little radishy guys um, that have a nice little pinky color to them. So I'm kind of hoping if we pop some of those in there. Uh, you know, shout out to Clemens Fan, little chateauification. That was the word we made up. It's completely easy to do left-handed, or sorry, like one-handed, while you're trying to film with your left hand. Keep everything centered in the camera. Piece of cake, no problem at all. I'm such a professional. Extra. All right, so now we've got some herbs from the garden. But I really like it when they put like little garnies right in the in the dip itself. That is nice. Found a bit of garni. Little shots of color, something in the dip, make it look festive. The meat plate's coming right along. We've got some crackers and breadsticks to add in. What are we missing? Cheese. 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 Yes, very cheese. important. They'd never forgive us, would they? No, we have to do cheese. <laughs> Hi. Hey. What do you think? How do we do? It looks spectacular. I we mean, obviously, our... if we if we keep feeding people like this, they're never going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> got our cheese plates going. Um, I think that's a Blue Dauvergne. There's a Comte. There's a Brie. And the other one, I don't remember. I should remember these things. And the Cabot is excellent. <laughs> yeah. We've got our veggies on with a little bit of garni. Finish the masterful meat plate. I mean, well done, Sue. Come yes. on. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's and our little fruit tray. And uh, the mayor just showed up, so we must be ready to go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, we're going to get to collect some uh, glasses so that we can actually serve some wine, which okay. is a good idea. That's, that's a good start. Yeah. No slugging from the bottle. No. Yeah. All <laughs> no, right. It's good. Let's get it out there. Let's get the show going. We're out. We got the fly protection. Everything's looking good. Crowds are gathering. Adelaide and Jean are already uh, <laughs> pouring hey. the drinks. <laughs> well, the aperos seem to be going over a treat, which is nice. Everyone's diving in. We'll see how long they last. Adeline, si tu veux.